Welcome everyone. So yes, a lot of people could not do this correctly. <coughs> so I'm going to show you two methods. Okay, I'm going to show you the first method, <coughs> which is very basic. That is something which has been taught in every school. And then I'm going to show you a method with which you can literally do this in seconds. The first method is just open the brackets on either side of the equal to. So we have 7x minus 14 equals to 14x minus we have 7, uh, sorry, 56. Okay. Next what we will do is we will shift the variable on one side and the numbers on another side. So we have minus 14 plus 56 is equal to. 7, uh, 14x minus 7x. So this comes out to be 7x. Okay. And here we have this is as for 42. In order to find the value of x, you will divide both sides by 7. So answer for value for x is supposed to be just 6. Now, like I said, we can literally do this orally. Okay. I will just write the question one more time. So we have 14 multiplied by x minus 4. So first thing we realize that 7 and 14 are getting multiplied to the bracket. The first thing what you can do is directly divide both the numbers by 7. It's so easy right. So this gets cancelled here. This is 1's and 2's. So now I have x minus 2 equals to 2x minus 8. Right. I just multiplied this 2 inside the bracket. Now let's shift the variable on another side and the number on the other side. So here we have minus 2 plus 8 equals to 2x minus x. So equals to what x? And when you have to do subtraction, basically you are doing taking what 2 away from 8. So answer is 6 and the sign. In subtraction, you have to always uh, look at the sign of the bigger number. And here we know 8 is positive, which is the bigger number out of the 2. So, answer for value of x will also be positive which is 6. Okay, so it's up to you. I've taught you both the methods. You can cheat, you can like or you can, you know, put one of the method in practice. Okay, that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.